Oh, hello everybody. Uh, you join me watching a bit of uh, static television. It's the best channel on this. Not much happens, but it's fun. Anyway, uh, yes, here we are once again, and we're going to be continuing with our farm work. Let me just turn the light off. It does cost us money. We have property maintenance, £193. Uh, yeah, so it's... Oh no, it's raining. It's raining out of clear blue sky. Well, this field, as you will know, uh, in the previous video, was actually drilled, so we do have a nice crop growing in here. We extended the field as well, so it's bigger than what it was initially. But I think it'd be nice if we could uh, get some fertilizer applied as well, because that is just going to really boost the yield and make it much more worthwhile. Because when it comes to the time of harvesting this, it's going to cost us a fortune to get the combine. And no renting. I am not renting anything, so yeah, it's going to be quite challenging. So we have £2,331, which is actually enough, I think, just about to fertilize the field. So we'll do that to begin with. And then I need to sort out, well, getting some more money. That is sort of the aim of the whole series, though. So, yeah, let's just back this up. Oh, yes, and of course, I need to get some fuel. I've almost run out. So, yeah, the fuel station is actually up at the store as well. So it's all at the same place. It's really annoying, this rain. It's only light at the moment, though, so we should be able to get away with spreading the fertiliser. We'll, we'll do it, because we need to get it done. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll get our fertiliser spreader, which I think is £550. At least it was when I last checked. Which is pretty decent, but then again, it is quite old. Blends in well with this machinery, though. Um, and, yeah, fuel is going to be... Well, it can't be much. It's a really small tank. £40? I don't know. It can't be much. I think the fuel station, well, I call it fuel station, I think the, the fuel pump is just around the corner here. I've never actually been there, but I have seen the icon before, so I don't know what it looks like exactly. I'm not expecting too much from a survival map. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, can we pay the pump? That, <laughs> that'd be good. Um, yes, I think we probably can do it. Let's just turn the engine off, refuel. £27. Well, we can definitely afford that. As I said, we are running the game on the most difficult setting for fuel consumption. It will be much more challenging when we have a larger tractor, though, because then we're going to be burning much more fuel. Right. So, if we go into the category where the muck spreaders... No, the uh, fertiliser spreaders are. I looked at the word muck spreader and said it. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Uh, yeah, this one here. So, £550. I didn't change the price, that is all as it was from ModHub. Uh, you can have a cover, it would appear, and decals. Yeah, that's fine, we'll just keep it like that. Oh, you can change the main colour though. Oh, very fancy. And it doesn't add more money. Nice. Oh, that, that sort of blends in well with our tractor, the colour scheme. The red looks good, but yeah, I, I do like that. So let's buy that, which means we have £1,754 left. Is that going to be enough for some fertiliser? No, it isn't. That's, that's really annoying. Right, okay. Well, it's gone dark quickly, hasn't it? It's torrential. Well, actually, as it turns out, that's not really a problem, because if we were to take it back in this, and we have no cover we would just get all the fertilizer wet so yeah that's uh well we, we don't want to be spreading now anyway i'm gonna to have to wait for the storm to pass which gives me time to sell a bit of wood and then we'll come back over here with the trailer and we'll pick up a bag of fertilizer i'm just going to say this now i think probably for this week only there is actually going to be another episode of the survival challenge instead of just the one on the friday i'm not too sure what day it will be but yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there is another one. 
Uh, so I'll, I'll leave that to be a bit of a surprise for those of you who like the Survivor Challenge. I enjoy doing it. I think it is fascinating to see how far you can actually get with not much stuff. I rarely do it because usually, um, unless you are actually doing it as a challenge, it doesn't really make for a very good series because you never progress very quickly. But when you are starting off with the vintage machinery in the middle of nowhere, it really is quite interesting to see. That is a good spreader for £550 though. Sorry, random topic change. Home is in sight. Well, it hasn't started to grow yet, it's not germinated, but this rain is going to help. I think really we should wait until it germinates before we put the first application on to make sure it's growing. Um, I was just wondering if we can actually sell some of those bales? Do we own them? We do, don't we? Hmm. Um, well, I don't think there is a bell cell point here, but yeah, we own those, so... I don't know. We can sell them. We can make the money from them. Which could be very useful, because... Oh, look, it's germinated. Um, right on cue. Yes. We can sell those and then get a mower. And, well, hopefully, some way of picking the grass up. And then we could sell that. But of course, we mustn't neglect the fact that we need to get a combine harvester as well. That is very important. Um, yeah, I mustn't try and do too many things in one go, because that is when issues are going to occur. I don't want to fail. I do not want to fail this series. Uh, it is a challenge after all. It is possible to fail. Well, I suppose the only way of properly failing would be if you'd cut down all of the trees and sold them, and you had... Still no money. I don't think that would be possible. I think it, it, it's highly likely that you would succeed, but it would take a while. But the trees are good, and they do need to be replaced. So we'll probably be hand planting some trees very soon. Uh, right, so do I have a good shed? I suppose I could have put it over there, but a good shed for the seed? Not in the workshop. Actually, the bell shed over here is a pretty good place for pallets. So that's what we'll do. We'll drop it off, we'll then go over to the forest, cut up some wood as the weather is horrible, and then we'll get that sold. Yeah, it's a nice place this. Nice and dry. No, don't spill. There we go. Um, yeah, so we go to our usual place. I'm only really planning on taking one tree down today, because if we are going to sell some of those bales, that would be a massive income. Uh, but it is money which is well needed. I have looked into the combine harvesters, and it's about 60 or £70,000 to get an old one. So it's not easy, we'll put it that way. Although that is very expensive. But that is just the price they are. I can't, I can't adjust them. Okay, this is a good tree. I'll very, very quickly get this tree processed and put into the uh, wood chipper. Uh, wasn't my tractor under there somewhere? No! I felled the tree on my tractor. There it is. Yeah, it's okay. Good. Oh, is the sun coming out? Slowly. Very slowly. Um, yes, yeah, so it has to be fairly manageable sized pieces. We're pretty strong, but we're not. We, we can't pick up like a building or a full full size tree. That would just be uh, too much. Right, that should be about right. Let's get them put into the trailer. We'll start with the heaviest first. I think that is everything. I might have Missed a small piece of wood somewhere. Where'd it go? Hmm, maybe that was it. 
Uh, right, so is that the end of the tree? Oh, it is. Uh, let's get some straps over that. We have a whole tree in the trailer. Heavy work lifting that up. Um, yeah, I was actually thinking about this just as I was uh, finishing off there. Uh, I should probably turn the engine off. I know that a few people mentioned it. I don't know what the consumption is like in this game um, for this, but I suppose that there is going to be some kind of fuel consumption if you just leave it idling. I, I really don't know. Um, but it would be a good idea, at least at least for a roleplay sort of idea, it would be good to uh, to keep the engine switched off when we're not using it. So there we go. Look at that. Complete with a bit of foliage. So you know the idea now. We've done this quite a few times. Let's get it sold. It would be nice just to uh, sell a load of wood. Get a massive lump sum of money. I'll probably have to do it as a time lapse at some point. But now I've discovered those bales. That makes all the difference. I think somebody did actually mention them in the first episode. But they're sort of a backup. You do get given a few things. We've got given some wood too. But once it's gone, it's gone. You've got to find your own things to sell. Right, that's the end of that. Uh, so what's that got us? We're now at 3,320. Well, it could be worse. It's still raining. I can't believe it. It's a really wet day. It's a bit of a write-off, really. Uh, well, not to worry. We'll go over to the, uh, the store. We'll pick up a bag of fertilizer, head back, and then hopefully by then it will have stopped. But as you can see, our soybeans now really could do with some fertilizer. They are growing. They're going to take in the nutrients. That's exactly what we need. Okay, let's go. So as many of you will have hopefully noticed already, I did put a post out a few days ago um, saying that I'm taking a very short break from YouTube, which is true, I am. Um, like I said, the only series which is actually affected here is the Survivor Roleplay for one week only. So that is returning on the 25th. But no, I, I really did start to feel like I needed a bit of a break. Uh, it's not really a challenge to make these videos, I absolutely love doing it, but I do spend a lot of time just editing and it can start to get a little bit much when you've been making a video, at least one video a day, for five years, except when I've been ill, so which isn't that often, thankfully. But um, yeah, I have never really had a proper break, and this isn't a proper break. I'm still doing a video a day, but um, yeah, just because Survivor Roleplay is a, a massive amount of editing, I just thought for one week only, I need just to... Uh, step back from that. Also, it's good because it will allow me to keep thinking of the upcoming storyline and stuff and keep it strong instead of it just sort of tailing off and becoming a bit, you know, boring. Uh, it needs to stay fresh. So it's all going to be a positive thing in the end. So um, I've already had some really lovely comments, actually. Very supportive. So thank you, everybody. I do appreciate it. I haven't been able to click the heart on everyone's comment or We'll say thank you to everybody, so it's just best that I do it like this. Uh, thank you to everybody who has supported the channel for the past five years. And here's to a, a good future as well. A good, positive, long future. Unless, of course, you hate my videos. <laughs> Hopefully not. I do try, but as I found out about, I don't know, three months into making videos back in 2015, um, you just you can't please everybody, and that's fine everybody has their own opinions they have their own taste and uh, interests well we're here and it's still raining let's now buy that bag of fertilizer the good thing is it should be able to uh, last for a while I would hope so we're back down to 1400 pounds at least we're not bankrupt. <laughs> that's that's always a positive. Ooh, there we go. Throw a strap or two over that. They're smaller straps, aren't they? Just noticed. That's a really nice idea. Well, it's not like I'm having to rush today to get things done. 
the weather really is not on our side. Good news, the rain is stopping. It's way brighter than it was before. And it's, yeah, not as heavy. So the timing is good. Really, we should have done the fertilizer just before the rain, but I didn't know it was going to come on quite so heavily so quickly. It was clear sky when we started. Uh, right, so uh, yeah, but we just need to uh, put the spreader on the back again, load it up, and begin. There's still a bit of drizzle, it might wash it in, who knows. I've got to say, it's a healthy looking crop. I'm so pleased that I extended the field. It would have been, well, not really worthwhile with the standard size field because the combines are just so expensive. I'm going to keep looking around, but since I have this rule of not to modify the original price uh, from when you download the mod, um, it is going to be challenging to be able to afford it. I think probably at the end of this episode, I'm going to go a bit crazy with the tree felling. We'll cut a load of trees down and we'll then sell them, obviously, um, which I'll do as a time lapse. But then we are going to have to start planting more trees because otherwise we're going to have a problem. We can't have this mass deforestation. All right. Let's get this filled up. So 280 litres, uh, we have a thousand in the bag, so that's not bad. Yeah, at some point we're going to have to extend the field, but I'm going to cut all this grass first and hopefully sell it. Oh yes, of course. open a little flap to uh, allow the fertilizer to come out of the hopper. Okay, so I'm going to have to just get used to the working with. Looks like I'm a bit off there. Yeah, that, that's about right. So we'll get a good covering. I will make sure that I cover everything. but I have no doubt about not having uh, enough fertilizer. We're definitely on a fertilizer, no problem at all. I think instead of turning here, I will just keep switching it off and then heading back down. Oh, and we might still get that message saying we don't own the land if we start it up too early. Yep, there we go. We'll just have to ignore it. One day, we will own the land if we ever expand fast enough. Actually, I don't want to keep stopping in the middle of a job, but how much does it cost? £85,000 per rectangle. As you can see, there's quite a few rectangles to buy. It's a, a, quite a challenge, it really is. But this is the nicest rectangle. And actually, I think that's probably quite true. It has all the the, uh, the, the lake there and the uh, the house and the sheds. I suppose over there they've got a rock. A nice rock. Wow, that's gone really well. Very well. And it only used just over half of the uh, fertilizer hopper, spreader hopper. Which means we have enough to cover a huge amount of ground. I look forward to being able to extend the field over here in, in this sort of wilderness of undergrowth that we have. But yeah, I, I want to make sure we've cut it first and sold the grass because it, it's, it's worth money. We can't afford to lose money like that. Right, so yeah, what we need to do now is take that over to the same shed to store it. Um, we, like, like I said, we could sell the bales. I'm gonna leave that open for now. 
but I think we probably will be selling them fairly soon. Again, when it comes to transporting them, it's going to be quite tricky. Uh, it's like one or two bales per load, so that's a lot of going backwards and forwards. But we'll we'll soon sort it out. I'm just wondering, can you go up here? Ooh, you can. Ooh, and the light comes on for you. Nothing better than automatic lights. Hello, what do we have here? Some kind of storage box. Ah, so this is where our competition can spy on us. Because if anybody is around here, they're going to be jealous of our field, that's for sure. Very envious. Um, yep, yeah, so there we go, that's a nice little feature. Always go down backwards. That's the rule. Uh, do we actually own these, don't we? We do own these, right. We could diversify. Have like a an open day. Pay to sit in a deck chair. I love that you can actually go in these buildings. Even though they are empty. But we don't own that area over... Do we own the island? Oh, we kind of own the island, just about. Well, that was a nice little uh, exploration. Oh, look, there's my tree. That's one of my trees. I must have missed it. We all know where rogue trees end up. That's right, in the chipper. Sorry, tree. But you're worth more as money. What would it be? A hundred pounds? Sixty-two. That's not bad. Stumble over sixty-two pounds. Shouldn't have left the light on. It cost money. Uh, right. So we'll do what I just said. As you've just seen, I've been busy cutting some trees down, but this chipper is starting to take a bit of wear. No, that's not good. Uh, I don't know what that is going to do exactly. Uh, I don't know if we get less money or something for the wood. But it's definitely getting a bit worn out. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll keep going with this. We just have this small stick, very heavy small stick, to put in the uh, chipper, and then we'll see what we've got. Well, it's not bad, but it's a long way off affording a combine harvester, so I think what I'm going to do is just load up this trailer with as many bells as we can do. It's probably going to be, what would it be? I've no idea. <laughs> Three? If we were really pushing it, maybe four. And we'll get them taken to somewhere which will buy them. I think we all know that silage is going to be worth the most. So we'll do that. But I'm very conscious of the fact that once they've gone, they've gone. They're not going to return. So we must be careful here. Like, sell everything. 
Right, well, I'm hoping to fit that fully in, if we can do. Look at that, made to measure. Uh, yeah, and prices are not going to be great. They're going to be pretty bad, actually. We're playing on the most difficult setting, which I've never done before. So I can't expect to get much for these. I'm impressed with the price of the wood, really. Let's just get as many on there as we can do. Uh, it's oh, three. Three would definitely be pushing it. Knock that over. Um, certainly get two on. Roll that into the other one. Like aggressively roll it. Um, strap it. Yeah, you could. You could get another one there. It's going to be. Pretty top heavy, I can't lift it up there. That's pushing it way too far. So that is everything for today. Let's go over to the uh, the place which we'll buy it. There is only one place, and we'll see what we can get. But if this is bad, then that basically means that the straw and the grass and hay are worth hardly anything at all. So let's hope it is okay. Do we just drive over here? I imagine we do. Let's just take the straps off. Unless that's going to make them roll, is it? Have to be very careful. Set off really slowly. What's the red light? Is that ignition? Or some kind of fault? Oh, there we go. Yeah. The wow. Well, I say wow, it's not it's not amazing, but it's okay. So we're on 7,634. That is quite a long way off getting a combine still. And that is the next thing we need. Also, I don't have a trailer except for this one. I hope we can put grain in it. How would you tip it? Hmm. Well, that, that would work. At least we can remove the tailgate. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we can put grain in it, but hardly anything at all. Like a thousand litres. But we, we just can't afford anything else yet. So there we go. Um, I, I suppose it's an achievement getting 7,600 in an episode. But it's certainly not going to make me jump for joy. Because uh, that is, that is going to be really tough. What are we going to do? I need a combine, I need like a trailed combine harvester, which you tow with the tractor, but this tractor's only like 27 horsepower, it's never going to run it. Oh, this really is going to be a challenge. Hmm, it just goes to show that getting the crop in the ground in the first place is kind of easy, but then harvesting it, that's tough. I'm just trying to think what else we could do with it, like, I suppose, could you mow it and then sell it as silage I I, oh, I don't know this is going to be interesting to see how this series pans out but at least we have lots of trees I did show the sickle bar which we could buy possibly it's fairly cheap so that's an option if the traps can run it the good thing about sickle bars is they don't really take much power um, but then again that, that's just one side of it you just have that just as the cutting you've got to have something else to pick it up so yes this is going to be tough, interesting and challenging all at the same time. Okay well I'm just going to go and pop this back in the shed and then we're going to call it a day but at least the soybeans look good if only we had something to harvest them with. I couldn't really buy the combine first though because then we couldn't afford a drill or a plow or a, a cultivator or a spreader. Well We'll see what happens. There should be another episode very soon. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.